Hello everybody, I hope that you are fine. Um, uh, I am Ms. Belinda Mosheri for P6 Social Studies. We remain on the topic, the islands of Seychelles. And for today, we are going to look at the groups of islands within the Seychelles archipelago. The objectives will be mainly to define the inner and outer islands and state examples of inner and outer islands. Before we continue, let's review a little bit what we saw last time. The reclaimed islands. So reclaimed islands are islands made by man. We call them the man-made islands. They are not natural islands, they are rather artificial islands. The reclaimed islands are found on the east coast of Mahe and Prale. They are newly built islands as a result of reclamation. Some of those islands are connected to another by a bridge. So we have the seven uh, reclaimed islands, Ile Perseverance, a new district which lies two kilometers from the capital Victoria, Ile Gipor located next to Ile Perseverance, Ile de Romainville opposite St. Anjet and Victoria, Eden Island opposite Rochecaima, Ile Soleil opposite en Sopin, Ile Aurore opposite en Cetoile, and Eve Island near Besetan Prale. And we have uh, those islands on the map. Further south, we have uh, Il Soleil. And next to Prale, Eve Island. So, here we have a map showing the Indian Ocean. And we have Seychelles on the map. If we take a closer look, a closer look again, where we can see the different islands of the Seychelles. Those little spots are representing the different islands. And around those different islands, we have a red line. So what is this red line surrounding the Seychelles island? What is it? Try and think. This is called the EEZ, EEZ, which stands for Exclusive Economic Zone. The Exclusive Economic Zone. The islands of Seychelles are spread over a vast area of sea known as the Exclusive Economic Zone, the EEZ. The EEZ of a country refers to the sea zone over which a country has special rights regarding the exploration and the use of marine resources. The EEZ of Seychelles includes both land, our different islands, and the sea, which covers a total area of approximately 1.39 million square kilometers of sea. So we can see that the EEZ of Seychelles has a larger area of sea than land. And uh, the different islands of Seychelles are spread within uh, our area of sea. So how does this benefit the Seychelles? We have a large area of sea. How does it benefit our country? Okay, I will leave this question with you. So here we have four EEZ of different countries. Which one is showing the Seychelles EEZ? Of course, it's C. All right? So let's move to our topic, groups of islands. The Seychelles archipelago is separated into two main groups. We are not talking about the types, granitic and coralline. Okay? We are talking about the groups of islands now. When you are in class, you are having a lesson, the teacher can group you into different groups. So some will move near the blackboard, some will move near the window. So let's look at the groups of islands, the Seychelles Islands. If we take the, the map again, we have this little group over here, and this is what this group is showing. What are the islands being shown in this group? Yes, we can see Mahe, and we know that Mahe is the main island. We can see Saint Anne, yes, of course. Raleigh, La Digue, Surf Island, Silhouette, Curieuse, 
cousin, cousin. Very good. Okay. So in other words, we have mahe in this little group and some islands close to it, close to mahe. What name is given to this group of islands? Talking about mahe and the islands close to it. This group is called the inner islands. So if I ask you what are inner islands? Definitely, they are islands close to Mahe. Why Mahe? And not Praline, not Ladig, not islands close to Aldabra, but islands close to Mahe. Why Mahe? Simply because Mahe is the main island in the Seychelles archipelago. Right? So inner islands are islands close to Mahe. Now, one thing about inner islands, they are all granitic islands. Inner islands are all granitic islands, except for Dennis and Bird Island, which are two coralline islands. Here we are talking about the natural islands. Of course, we have the different reclaimed islands as well. Eh? But if we talk about the natural islands, all natural islands in the inner group are granitic islands, except for Dennis Island and Bird Island, they are the only two coralline islands in the inner group. And like I've said previously, the reclaimed islands are also found in the inner group as they are close to Mahi and Prale. Now, the largest and highest island in the inner group is Mahi itself. Mont Seshirwa is the highest peak of Mahi at a height of 905 meters and the second highest mountain in the inner group as well as in the whole of Seychelles is Modouban, which is found on silhouette at the height of 751 meters. So here we have the inner islands. Here we have silhouette, which is the second highest island. And silhouette is found in the northwest of Mahé. And of course, two other main islands, we have Praline and Ladig, and they are found northeast of Mahi. Okay? So, this is the inner islands. Now, we have those other islands a little bit further from Mahi. We have these islands further from Mahi. What name is given to this group of islands far from Mahi? If inner islands are islands close to Mahi, so the islands far from Mahi now, how do we call them? Very good. They are called the outer islands. So if I ask you what are outer islands? They are islands far from, far from Mahi. So all outer islands are coralline islands. There's no granitic islands in the outer group. All outer islands are coralline islands. So here we have the inner islands. And here we have the outer islands islands. So what are inner and outer islands? What are inner and outer islands? Inner islands are islands close to Mahe and outer islands are islands far from Mahe. Very good. Let's continue. The outer islands are further divided into four groups. If we look at where the outer islands are found on, uh, on the map, they are scattered a little bit far from each other, all right? So they have been grouped into four other groups. We have Amirant Group, Farqua Group, Adabra Group, and Cosmoledo Group. Okay, so here we have Amirant Group. This is Farqua Group. Adabra group and Cosmoledo group. All right? 
So this is it about the groups of islands. Simply, the islands of Seychelles are spread over a vast area of sea, known as the exclusive economic zone. The Seychelles archipelago is separated into two main groups, the inner and outer islands. Inner islands are islands close to Mahe, and outer islands are islands far from Mahe. All inner islands are granitic islands except for Dennis and Bird Island, which are two coralline islands. And all outer islands are coralline islands. The outer islands are further divided into four groups, Aldabra Group, Farqua Group, Amirant Group, and Cosmoledo Group. So this is the end of uh, the lesson. Continue to stay safe and take good care of yourself.